Hello, uh, welcome back. So, uh, even if there's nobody there right now, there's going to be somebody there. Y'all going to be there, and y'all going to see this. So, welcome back. So, today we're out in my studio. It's a mess right now, so I'm not going to show it to you, but this is the studio. <laughs> I thought the light might be a whole lot better out here. What do y'all think? Is this light better? So, I wanted to touch on something from the first video that I never, like, you know. So, I have ADD, right? So, if a squirrel goes by, you know. So, y'all have to bear with me. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, in the first video, I was talking about how my legs were thick and they were like tree stumps. And I was saying, for example, if you were on a plane. And where I was going with that is... If you're on a plane and something happens and you need somebody to kick out the exit door, would you want me or would you want the normal little tiny petite skinny girl legs? Or would you want me to kick that sucker down? You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes thick legs come in handy. I'm just saying. I also think that I'm built for like cold weather even though I get cold hives. Have y'all ever heard of such a thing? I grew up up north and it never happened to me when I was younger, but now if I get cold, like if it's hot in Texas, right? So if I'm driving down the road and I got the air conditioner on and that vent is blowing, like let's say right here on my face, I'll get hives right there on my face. Or if it's blowing on my arm, I'll get hives on my arm. Um, if I go outside and it's like, you know, 50 degrees or less and the wind is blowing, you know, usually it happens around my uh, jawline. And, and, but it can happen anywhere on my body, anywhere that gets the cold air. It's the craziest thing. I had to Google it to find out what it was, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Is anybody else use Google as their doctor, or am I the only one? Am I the only one? <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. But I don't get all crazy and think that I have every single thing on there. I check everything from every angle and cross out like I don't have that. I've never had that. Da, 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 and then, you know, narrow it down. And for sure, I have that. I also have this really weird thing that I just found out about this year. I just got the name of it. And I've actually been to a hospital for it. Um, where, like, when I get really stressed out, I get, like, these little blisters like, right now, my hands are good. Like, there's nothing on them. But, you know, someday when they're bad, I'll show you. But um, you get little tiny, like, they're like little water blisters. And the more stressed I am, like, the more those blisters will pop up. And they either come up on the, on the palms of my hands or on the bottom of my feet. And they itch. Y'all, I can't tell you. If you've ever had hives or something like that, that's, you know, it is an unbelievable itch. And I actually went to a hospital and spent hours and hours in an emergency room to get back to the back to have two doctors literally prescribe me lotion, like lotion that you can buy at the grocery store. Like you don't need a prescription for it. I spent all that time there. They never could figure it out. They kept saying, you must, um, do you have trench mouth? And they kept wanting to look in my mouth. I'm like... There's nothing wrong with my mouth. It's my hands and my feet. Well, I did a little research and it's called, um, I can't pronounce it, but it's like, it's a weird, like, shidriac eczema. It's some form of eczema and it only comes up when you're like, you know, stressed out or there was some other conditions, but for me, it's just stress. Like if I have a test coming up, oh, my hands, y'all, my hands, pray, pray. For my hands, y'all. Pray for my hands. <laughs> y'all could pray for everything about me, but you could really pray for my hands. But anyway, so um, so I wanted to just close up those things that I left open in the last video. And so um, one of the other things that I was talking about is the reason that I was talking about my strength and being like bull is because... It's irrelevant if your back is messed up, right? Like, it doesn't matter anymore that I lifted whatever I lifted, that I built whatever I built, that I painted whatever I painted, because I can't do that anymore. Like, that's not a possibility for me right now. Like, you're going to see me squirming around a lot because sitting is the most painful thing. Like, sitting and standing 
like getting up in the morning and actually standing up for the first time after you've been laying down for a couple hours when that pressure hits it's like it's like the way I can best describe it is if like my back is split in two and the top half is way heavier than the bottom half and like sitting and standing puts so much pressure I mean it's just like you know you get nauseous as soon as you um get up out of bed so all y'all that have back problems stenosis if y'all have any suggestions or anything I mean I know the heat and cold thing yes I do the heat and cold thing but that can only help so much there's got to be something I'm wondering if that like one of those traction unit things helps I mean I haven't properly been able to talk to a doctor because everything that I get sent to is for you know for people that don't have money and they don't they they don't care they'll spend two minutes in there and tell you that they have to give you a bunch of tests that you don't need and oh my gosh y'all I just hate that whole that whole situation with all the tests and the doctor crapola like if you see through an x-ray what's wrong with me and other people have had it before then let's like tackle that and try to fix that and let's not worry about giving me a uh, colon screening and a mammogram and you know like uh, 50 other things that don't have anything to do with my back let's just can we just fix my back can we, can we fix my back can we try to fix my back because I am at a complete standstill y'all y'all who have the back injury no I mean thank God I'm not in a wheelchair. I'm not like it could be so much worse. And I feel so bad for all of y'all that are in that situation because I totally get it. Like I, I forget that my back is jacked up when I'm asleep or it's the middle of the night and you know, I'm off in my own space and I'll be thinking, man, I want to do this and I'm going to get up and do this and I'm going to, you know, and then as soon as I get out of bed, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. I can't do this or that, you know? And then sometimes I think, you know, maybe I'll have a good day and I'll just muster up the strength and I can like, I don't know, do something, you know, like, like normal people do go out t to dinner or go to a movie. Well, the hard part is sitting in the car. Like, if it's further than 15 minutes, like, I can't, I can't, if I'm not driving and I can, like, lay down and, you know, because laying down is the most comfortable thing right now. Standing up and sitting down are my enemies. But you can't do anything laying down. And I'm hyper. I'm hyper. I want to be moving. I want to be doing stuff all the time. I don't even like to sleep because it's, like, the most boring thing ever. I'm not a person that likes to be sitting still. So for me to not be able to do anything is like, mm, I can move like faster than five people. I only say that not because I'm bragging, but seriously, I've worked at so many companies with other maids. I've worked with so many other maids over all these years, you know, let's just go with 30 years. I've worked with a lot of maids and I move faster than five of them, even at this age, up until I couldn't move anymore. I mean, it's just, it's just like, seems like such a waste, right? Of all this strength and all this energy and all this ability to physically do stuff combined with like the nature of wanting to help and wanting to serve. Like that's my deal. Like, I want to help and I want to serve. Like that's my whole thing in life. So what am I supposed to do if I can't like physically help? Because that's what I'm mean. I'm used to people saying, I can't reach this and I can't do this and somebody hasn't been by to do this and you know, I can't get to the grocery store. I can't do that. Now I'll just do it, you know, I'll volunteer for whatever it is. Well, I'll help you. Like if I can do it, I'll do it. Um, but y'all. So I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm going to college. I'm trying to give myself more skills to where if I have to only work on a computer or whatever that I can, you know, at, at least get hired to do that. But 
what I really want to do is help. And so, I don't know, I thought maybe this channel could help. I mean, these videos will get better and better as we go along because there's a lot of things that I have to teach, I feel. And I don't mean teach because I'm so good now, you can listen to me. I mean teach because I have screwed up so badly, I can tell you all of the million ways to not screw up. <laughs> I can tell you what you shouldn't do. I can tell you what happens to a person who's been through a lot of trauma. I can tell you how, you know, everything still affects you later on in life. There's a lot of things that we're going to go into, like in a lot of story times. And I'm not sure if I should do it chronologically or if I should just like, you know, break off a story here and there and spread them out so it's not chronological. I think we're going to get... Yes, we're going to get broken into by <laughs> German Shepherds. <laughs> My dog just opened the door. Okay. It's hot out here, and I have the air conditioning on to get it cooled off, but um, if I run it while I'm, you know, y'all probably won't be able to hear. So, so <laughs> you're probably going to hear a dog panting in the background because, um, oh, here, I'll show you about Miss Lucy, let me see, there she is, um, uh, my dogs are named Desi and Lucy, because I love Desi and Lucy, and if you're younger, it's like from I Love Lucy, you know, remember Desi, Desi Lou Productions, well, anyway, so where was I, so, um, I'm hoping that I can at least help people with these videos, because, Here's the thing, y'all. I don't talk to a lot of people, so I don't know who's going to gain the knowledge that I have. You know, I'm an only child, so there's no, obviously, sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, and all that kind of thing. Um, most of my family is up north, and I'm not. And I left a long time ago, so it's like a, you know, you know how people are. If, if it's like... What is that expression? You know, when people are right in front of your face, it's, but when they're not there, you just like forget about them or whatever. So, even though I really have a large family technically, um, I haven't known them since I was a, you know, 12. And so, I don't know now what's going on with anybody. I have a couple of them on Facebook. And, you know, I can watch their lives and see what's happening, which is kind of cool, even though I don't, you know, talk to them. But really, to be honest, I would be horrible on the phone anyway, because I'm like, I've told y'all, I'm not good at that small talk thing. And I'm really good at listening. Like, I'll listen all day and then say, you know, bye. And then, you know, the other person doesn't get to know anything about me and I just go on with my life and, you know, that's why I say, like, I always feel like I'm more of a, a servant or a helper. Like, that's why I was put here and that's what, you know, every day, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, how can I help? What can I do? So, um, because I can't do really big things, like I made sure that there's water in the bird bath because it. It makes me feel good to know that the birds have a place to go. Like, especially, it is so hot. And there's not a lot of trees around here. You know, like, in Texas, they take down every single tree and just make it a blank piece of land, stick a house on there, and then plant back a couple of shrubs or something. You know, like, the one thing I like about up north is they will stick a house right in the side of a mountain. Uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> what's going on. They'll stick the house there and try and level it out somehow. Not down here. they got to make it flat, take away all the environment and all the little critters that would live there. You know, it makes me really upset that all of these animals, we just keep taking up their habitat and we leave no space for them. And then when they do come into the places where we're at, then we're all offended by it and trying to kill them. And ugh, it's just horrible. So there's a lot of squirrels, possums, raccoons. Um, I have a lot of blue jay. 
Cardinals, there's been a lot of butterflies this year. There was mice out there, I know, because one of my feral cats got one the other day. And they're so cute. I feel so bad, but also don't, you know, I like that they're not in my house. And I know that there's a lot of areas around me because there's a couple of, um, they're not really rivers or they're just like bodies of water, sewer kind of things or drainage things. And like the only places where the poor animals can go. And they cause a lot of, I lost my train of thought. See, there we go. That's another thing that happens when you get older too, you know, you just be talking and right in the middle of a sentence, you're like, what the hell was I just talking about? I have no clue. Okay. So I was trying to wrap up the first video and tell you a little bit more about this dang disability, which I'm in a fight for because they're telling me that I should just be able to go back to work and do whatever I normally did, which is absolutely insane to me. There's days that I have a hard time getting from my room to the bathroom. And if I do do anything, which I try not to do anything that would harm my back anymore. So I'm not capable of a whole lot, but like, let's say I Windex a window or something. Um, there's another dog headed this way, possibly. We might be hearing a break in. No, no, he's not coming. Okay. So where was I? <laughs> I think it happened again, y'all. Oh my God. Why me? Why is this happening right now? Oh my God. The for forgetfulness is insane. And y'all wouldn't think. You're like that poor girl. She's in college, but really I do, I do pretty well. I didn't when I was younger cause I didn't want to be there, you know, at all. And I couldn't concentrate and I didn't know I had AD. I didn't even know I was hyper a couple of years ago. Like, cause I've always been into self-help and I was reading one of these self-help books and it was like, you know, how to be your authentic self or something like that. And it had you do all these exercises. Like I cleaned my whole house with a toothbrush. This was a long time ago, but you know, I've done like all these things, you know, where you clear out everything that's in your mind and everything that's been bothering you and you organize everything. And, um, one of the exercises, what you had to call people and ask them what, you know, the greatest things they liked about you, you know, like a, whatever that, whatever it was. And I found out that the one thing everybody liked about me was my honesty. So if you ask me something, I will tell you the truth. Sorry. And then the other one was, um, <laughs> I swear to God, I could crack myself up, but the see, this is what happens when you have an only child. We have to entertain ourselves. I can entertain myself all day long. Whoa. It's three things. Oh my God, y'all. Seriously. It's crazy because I'm trying to tell y'all 50 million things and I'm trying to organize it in a certain way. And I'm also trying to figure out how much longer I could be on here before I melt into a puddle because the air conditioning is off. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say that we'll finish this later. We'll finish this later. And um, I'm going to turn the air on and I'm going to get myself cooled off. And I hope y'all have a really good day. And I hope that you will like. And then if you have anything in common and, and you want to support me in any way, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share it with somebody. Something. God, you see I need help over here. Oh, my God y'all somebody pray for me okay but seriously y'all have a good day and thanks for listening <laughs>